Hey, what's up everyone? Thomas here and I've lived in Redlands, California for a long time and I've seen so many changes as the city has grown over the years. So I have a bunch of kiddos and a very busy life. So I'm gonna tell you about all the pros and cons about moving to and living in Redlands. All right, so pro number one is that we're kind of really spoiled by the weather and there's almost no seasons. You know, so what I mean by that is that, you know, it gets pretty warm in the summer months, but it also can be pretty warm in the winter months also. And so occasionally it'll get cold. Like, so the last couple weeks, it has been pretty cold here uh, in Redlands. And, uh, you know, but it probably just warms up the next couple weeks or so, or maybe the first couple weeks of January, you just never know um, of when it will warm up. And then what's kind of nice too, is like, we'll have like a snow day, which here in Redlands, it'll rain. And then in the surrounding mountains, you know, there'll be snow. So you could just run up to the snow 20, 30 minutes away if you want a really close spot or uh, if you want to go a little further, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, you know, you can actually get on ski lifts and go to the, you know, go skiing. And then also we have in California, the time change. So like today, the sunset is at 442 and the sunrise was at 649. And so uh, it's kind of odd, you know, that we don't have that much time, but uh, in the summer months, we have quite a bit more time. All right, so con number one is Redlands is kind of a small city. And so what I mean by that is there's a population of about 75,000 people. And so we have a lot of things in Redlands, but some things that we need to go outside of Redlands to, to go get. So like for instance, you know, San Bernardino is the biggest city next to Redlands, a couple cities over. And uh, that's where you go to Costco, Sam's Club, a lot of other big places. And so Redlands does have a lot of things uh, in Redlands. You know, we have the Mountain Grove, Grove Plaza, Citrus Grove, which are like all your big box stores, you know, where you have like the Targets, Walmarts, all that kind of things. And then uh, some independents and then towards the downtown area, you definitely have all the independent shops and things. And so uh, Redlands also, you know, they have buses as far as public transportation goes. We just got the train, which will take us into San Bernardino. It could take us to LA, uh, the beach cities, that kind of thing. But it's uh, trains brand new in town. And uh, so there's not a huge city life with public transportation. So. Uh, you can Uber and Lyft and all that kind of stuff, but you can't really like, hey, let's just jump on like a subway or, you know, or go somewhere. Um, and it's not really a walkable place, I would say, and like downtown is, but overall, Redlands is not. So uh, that would be the con number one. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, live, sleep, play, and what's going on right here in Redlands, make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. All right, so pro number two of moving to and living in Redlands is the natural beauty and access to nature. So, so many natural parks, you know, around us, you know, we're not too far from the mountains. Like we can actually 20, 30 minutes hit the lower areas of the mountains. The beaches are within an hour, you know, so you just jump on the freeway, go to the beaches. Uh, desert, like 30 minutes to, to an hour, depending on how much desert you want, you can go to, there's forests. Um, you know, all kinds of different places like majestic mountains up in Big Bear, beautiful valleys, you know, so there's all those type of things with right around, you know, within an hour of Redlands. And so I know like for myself, like a bunch of us always go to like the desert communities like Joshua Tree. So we can see like the night sky, take some photos, that kind of thing, have some fun over there and, uh, and just love the desert. And then we also do a lot of things at the beach, you know, we can take the kids there, let them run around all summer long. And uh, just a great place to go because you could literally go start in the desert in the morning, go to the mountains, and go to the beach for sunset. So it's a really cool spot to, to be really located at a good spot. All right, so con number two, I'd say this is probably one of the more worst things about living in Redlands, California and moving here is that we have wild fi wildfires. So almost part of a daily life here. Um, so I've actually heard it is one of the worst states with wildfires. So like where Redlands is, it's the Inland Empire. And so it's like a, a valley area with mountains kind of like going around it. And so uh, there's areas of, you know, they get dried out in the summer months and spring months. And then typically, and I don't know why, it seems like every September, you know, we're having a fire somewhere. And so sometimes they're small, sometimes they're kind of big. And, uh, and so that's one of the worst things about, or cons, you know, is the wildfires that often happen around Redlands. All right, so pro number three, and so this is like more of my opinion, but I believe that the people of Redlands and the surrounding areas are kind people. I know everybody won't agree to this, but I find that people in Redlands are kind to others, looking to help, and uh, there's always exceptions and things, but there are so many community members out there and people in the city that are looking to give back, 
There's a lot of service clubs in town that, you know, give back to the schools, to the kids, and uh, there's really a lot of generosity going all the way around. And so I believe that Redlands definitely has a lot of nice people to it and uh, people looking to make everybody else's life better. All right, so I would say con number three is the summer heat. So in the dead of summer, you know, it could get to 95 to 100, a little over 100 um, for like a week or so, sometimes a couple days. But uh, so it's definitely, it gets hot, it's not uncommon. Uh, probably every year I would say this happens, you know, July, August kind of thing. And uh, so if you really can't withstand the heat for like a week or two, you know, then you probably won't like Redlands. But uh, I know like ourselves, we go to the mountains, we're at the beach a lot during that time. And uh, you know, as soon as you get coastal, the, the weather's quite a bit cooler. Right. We receive phone calls, emails, texts all the time from people moving and relocating to Redlands here and surrounding areas. And we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving to the area or is in the Empire, SoCal, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, you know, send us an email. We got your back to move in California. So pro number four, I'd say is the food scene. So there's lots of food choices all around town and uh, like so many coffee shops. I mean, there is like, I mean, there's a lot of Starbucks and things, but there are so many like independent coffee shops, sandwich shops and all kinds of things as far as coffee shop things. Um, and so like any type of food you want, I mean, you could definitely do it. There's all the big box franchise things, all the independents all throughout town. And so uh, there are even like lots of taco truck areas and spots where you can go. People just serve food on the side of the road uh, to like your luxury restaurants in downtown Redland. So whatever type of food you like, it's definitely here. All right, so con number four, you will need a car. You know, you cannot rely on public transportation or Uber or Lyft, that type of thing. Uh, we do have the buses and the trains that do go, but for the most part, if you want to go from one side of town to another, you have to have a car. And so uh, they are planning on building some like live, work, play areas in town, but they haven't quite built those up yet. That'll probably be the next like 10 years or so in the old mall area. So right now, con number four is you gotta have a car. All right, so say a pro number five is street art. So we can see it throughout all of Redlands, uh, more so like the downtown area, but there's all kinds of different murals everywhere. There's different like art pieces throughout town. And so there's all these really cool things. I'll try to put a whole bunch of them in the video here so you can take a look at it. Uh, there's some like what are famous in our area, you know, the people that do the murals, the city of Redlands has a division that does different art pieces and they swap them around at different times of the year. And so it's definitely a really cool place that you can walk, do photos. There's like um, angel wings in a couple spots. People really like those. So uh, come check it out. So con number five, I would say it has to be grocery cost. That's probably not just Redlands by itself, but also, you know, California kind of thing. And so every week when we go to the grocery store, it kind of amazes me how much, you know, groceries cost in the area. So it's like to eat out is even more. Uh, but, you know, as far as, you know, your vegetables, you know, your fruit, your meats and everything, the costs have gone up in the last like couple of years here. So they're pretty up there um, compared to other states and things. Pro number six, we have a variety of activities to do so you can almost never be bored. So you can take road trips to the beach, the desert, the mountains, kind of like how we went over before. Uh, there's all kinds of different museums in the area. So we have like the San Bernardino County Museum. There's like a glass museum. There's all kinds of little different museums. And then uh, we're not too far from like Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, LA, so you can go all kinds of places for all kinds of like world-class events. And so there's always something to do within about an hour or so of Redlands. Con number six is the overall high cost of living here in Redlands. And so it goes for all kinds of reasons, but uh, you know, we have property taxes that we have to pay on our houses. We have to pay sales tax on everything pretty much that we buy. Um, grocery costs, I kind of went through it. And so my next video, you can click here for it. It's actually going to be on the cost of living in Redlands, California. So check that out. All right, so reach out days, nights, weekends. We got your back to move into Redlands, California and surrounding areas in SoCal.